सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नाइन पर्सनैलिटी डिवेलपमेंट थ्रू योगा नाइन पॉइंट फोर आसन्स वी ऑल नो दैट आसन्स आर बेनिफिशियल फॉर आवर फिजिकल एंड मेंटल डिवेलपमेंट यू हैव ऑल्सो लर्न सो मेनी आसन्स इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस now we will discuss some more asans in this section page number 125 9.4.1 taad asan palm tree posture taad in sanskrit means palm tree this is called taad asan because in this asan the student stands straight like a palm tree hence it has been named taad asan Let us perform Tadasan by following the steps given below. Step one: Stand erect, feet together, hands by the side of the thighs. Keep the back straight and gaze in front. Step two: Stretch the arms upward. Keep them straight and parallel with each other in vertical position, with the palms facing inward. Step three: Slowly raise the heels as much as you can. and stand on toes stretch body up as much as possible maintain the position for 5 to 10 seconds step 4 to come back bring the heels on the floor first slowly bring down the hands by the side of the thighs and relax in the images given below a yog sadhika practicing tadasan these two images will give you a clear picture as to how tadasan has to be done page number 126 remember the following points do's the inner upper arm should be touching the respective ears stretch the arms and fingers fully keep the head neck and the body in one straight line don'ts do not bend forward or backward now let's talk about the benefits of tadasan it gives vertical stretch to whole body muscles it strengthens thighs knees and ankles it helps improve height of the children this posture plays an important role in increasing one's self awareness it helps to remove laziness and lethargy limitation those having complaints of vertigo should not practice this asan 9. 4.2 kati chakra asan lumbar twist posture kati in sanskrit means waist and chakra means wheel in this asan the waist is moved towards right side and left side the movements of the waist along with arms look like a wheel hence it is called kati chakra asan let us perform kati chakra asan by following the steps given below step 1 Stand erect on the ground with feet 12 inches apart. Step 2. Now keep the arms outstretched in front of the body with palms facing each other at the shoulder level. While inhaling, swing the arms slowly towards right side of your body. Step 4. Twist your body from the waist to the right and take your arms back as far as possible. Step 5. while swinging towards right side keep the right arm straight and left arm bent repeat the practice twisting towards left side as well to better understand these steps please check the image given on this page page number 127 remember the following points we'll first discuss the do's right hand is kept straight while twisting to the right and vice versa fingers should be stretched out inhale while twisting towards back and exhale while coming to the normal position in the final position of asan gaze behind let's now discuss the don'ts don't bend forward or backward don't move the lower part of the body do not jerk the body now let's discuss the benefits of this asan it helps in making slim it relieves constipation and makes the lumbar region strong 
It is good for respiratory ailments. Tuberculosis of lungs can be prevented. It strengthens shoulders, neck, arms, abdomen, back and thighs. Limitation Do not practice it if suffering from chronic spinal pain or injury. Singhasan Lion Posture In Sanskrit, Sihi means lion. In this asana, the face with open mouth and tongue stretched out towards the chin resembles the fierce look of a lion. Hence, it is called Singhasan. Let us perform Singhasan by following the steps given below. Step 1. Sit in Vajrasan with palms on the respective knees. Step 2. Keep the knees apart. Step 3. Place both the heels upwards under perineum. Step 4. Place both the palms on the respective knees widely spreading out the fingers. Step 5. Lean forward and place the palms on the floor between the knees. Step 6. Open the mouth and stretch out the tongue as much as possible and gaze at Bhumadhya, center of eyebrows. Step 7. Release the Bhumadhya Drishti and relax your eyes. Step 8. Come to Vajrasan by placing the palms on the respective knees and relax. The image given on the page clearly shows how Singhasan has to be done. Page number 128 Remember the following points. Do's The knee should rest on the ground. Sit on the heels. The buttocks are to be lifted up. The finger should be spread out in imitation of the lion's paws. Don'ts do not protrude the tongue beyond the capacity. Benefits It is beneficial for the muscles of the face and neck. The tongue becomes more elastic and healthier. Salivary glands become strong. It regulates functioning of thyroid. It helps in reducing dullness and depression and improves slurring of speech. Limitation Do not practice if suffering from backache, Arthritis of hip and knee, throat problems and pain in jaws. 9.4.4 Mandukasan Frog Posture Manduk A Sanskrit word means frog. In this asan, the final posture resembles the shape of a frog. Hence, it is named Mandukasan. Let us perform Mandukasan by following the steps given below. Step 1. Sit in Vajrasan. There is an image which depicts how Vajrasan has to be done. Step 2. Make the fists with thumbs inside and put them near navel and press the navel area. The second image on the page shows how this is to be done. Step 3. Exhale slowly. Lean forward from the waist. Lower the chest so that it rests on the thighs. Step 4. Keep the head and neck raised and gaze in front. Step 5. Maintain the position comfortably for 5 to 10 seconds. Step 6. To release the posture, come back to the sitting position by raising the trunk. Remove your fists from the navel area and sit in Vajrasan. Page number 129. Remember the following points. Let's first discuss the do's. Keep the head and neck raised in final position. Look in the front. Put pressure on the navel area. Don'ts. Do not lean beyond the capacity. Do not jerk the body while leaning forward. Now, the benefits of Mandukasan. This asana is beneficial for the people having heavy bellies, thighs or hips. It eliminates gases from the abdomen. It benefits people suffering from constipation, diabetes and digestive disorders. Limitation Person with slip disc, lumbar spondylitis or any other major disease of the spine should not practice this asana. 9.4.4 
उत्तान मंडूकासन स्ट्रेच्ड अप फ्रॉग पॉस्चर उत्तान मीन्स अपराइट और स्ट्रेच्ड अप एंड मंडूक मीन्स फ्रॉग इन फाइनल पोजिशन ऑफ दिस आसन द बॉडी लुक्स लाइक अ स्ट्रेच्ड अप और अपराइट फ्रॉग हेंस इट इज कॉल्ड उत्तान मंडूकासन लेट इस परफॉर्म उत्तान मंडूकासन बाय फॉलोइंग द स्टेप्स गिवन बिलो स्टेप वन सिट इन वज्रासन स्टेप टू की बोथ द नीज वाइड पार्ट टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दैट टोज ऑफ बोथ द फीट टच ईच अदर द हेड नेक एंड ट्रंक आर केप्ट इरेक्ट द आईज आर ईदर क्लोज और केप्ट ओपन स्टेप थ्री रेज द आर्म्स अबव द हेड Fold them and take them behind. To better understand this, please check the image given on this page. Step four: Place the right palm below left shoulder and left palm below right shoulder. Step five: Maintain this position comfortably for five to ten seconds. Step six: To come back, remove the arms one by one. Bring the knees together and come to Vajrasan. Page number one thirty. Remember the following points. Do's. The head is surrounded by the elbows. Keep the spine and neck erect. Don'ts. Do not bend the arms. Do not lean forward. Now let's talk about the benefits of this asan. It helps in reducing backache. it improves the blood circulation in the chest and abdomen it tones the abdominal and shoulder muscles it improves the functioning of lungs by improving the movements of diaphragm limitation those suffering from chronic knee pain and piles should avoid this asan 9.4.6 kukkutasan cockerel posture This is called Kukkutasan because this asan imitates the posture of a cock. This is a balancing posture, therefore it should be practiced with caution. Before taking up this practice, one must have sufficient practice of Padmasan. To better understand how Padmasan has to be done, please look at the image given on the page. Now let us discuss the steps to perform Kukkutasan. Step one. Sit in Padmasan. Keep your hand on side. Step two. Now insert the arms between calves and thighs until the palms reach the floor. Step three. Inhaling. Lift the body up as high as possible in the air. Support and balance the body on the hands. Keep the neck and head straight. For better clarity, please check the images given on the page. Step four: Maintain the position with normal breath comfortably for five to ten seconds. Step five: To release the posture, exhaling, lower the body and bring it to the floor. Take the inserted arms out and sit in Padmasan. Page number one thirty one. Remember the following points. Do's: Keep the head straight and eyes. fixed in front keep palms apart firmly on the ground while fingers pointing forward body should be balanced on the arms hold the back straight now let's discuss the don'ts do not bend forward do not bring the fingers close do not bend the head or neck benefits this posture helps to strengthen the shoulder arms and elbows This posture also helps to develop a sense of balance and stability. This makes the body strong. Limitation: People suffering from heart disease or high blood pressure should not practice this asan. You are just listening to this audio book. Narrator: Neeraj Yadav. Technical coordinator: Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist: Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production: Ruchi Sharma, directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audio book is presented to you by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, India.